Welcome back to Just Cook Damn It. Today I'm making a nice big bowl of chicken and sausage gumbo. Ingredients up there. So let's get cooking. You want to start off first by getting your trinity all set. That's your celery, your green peppers, and following it up with some yellow onions. Once you're done dicing those three things, place those to the side. And you wanna get three to four garlic cloves. Chop them up, get your andouille sausages out. Put them in half, chop them up as such. In a pan, place some olive oil in your sausage and brown those bad boys. Afterwards, take those, place them on a plate, keep the oil, and get your chicken thigh out. Season them on both sides with some Creole seasoning. You wanna brown and cook these bad boys down. I'd say it would take about five, 10 minutes on each side depending on how thick your chicken thigh is. Flip it. Make sure it's brown enough. Get some amber beer. And put it all over those chicken thighs. Trust me, it's gonna lock in the flavor. Ugh, the chicken is gonna be so delicious. Let that simmer in that beer for a while. About 10. 10 minutes tops. You'll get a nice little glaze on top of it as such. Place that bad boy to the side and let's get started making this roux. Now, messing around with oil, you want to take your time. You definitely don't want to get burnt. I've gotten burnt several times making this roux in general. So you want to take olive oil, slowly add in flour while whisking it that's the trick you don't want to burn the flour and then what you're going to find out is whisking it your wrist is going to hurt one but two you're going to see the color of the roux start to change it'll go from a white to a blonde and what you're really looking for is a milk chocolate color So here's that color I'm looking for. A nice milk chocolate coloring. And add my Trinity in. That celery, onions, and green peppers. And coat it. Coat it around with this roux. And then you're gonna cook this bad boy down. You want to watch out for your onions. You want to make sure those onions are kind of translucent. And when it becomes translucent, then you know it's time to start adding your garlic. And afterwards, you want to add your chicken stock into this mixture. Stir. stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring oh it looks delicious right now don't it add the rest of your amber beer into it you don't want to waste that beer then you want to add in your sausage that you've already had browned.
Yeah, and yes, I did eat a couple of pieces of those sausages. It's just, it was too juicy to pass by. Next, you want to take the chicken thighs that you've shredded and add those into the mixture. Top that off with a little bit of Creole seasoning. You don't want to go heavy handed unless you want it spicy. Add in two bay leaves and let that bad boy simmer. Now look at this. This is what you're gonna get after simmering it for an hour or two. Now let's move on to making our bow here. I eat my gumbo with rice. You can eat it with rice or you can eat it just plain. I like mine with rice. Go ahead and scoop up some of that gumbo. Place it right over that rice as such. Ugh. If you guys could smell it right now, <laughs> it's amazing. Now the only thing left for you to do is just to enjoy a bow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. God bless.